Welcome to the Sports Card Talk Show. To the Sports Card Talk Show. Sports Card Talk Show with Kevin Anderson and Lauren Walker, the Skull Brothers. Welcome to the Sports Card Talk Show. Um, we have a trivia mail day today, um, and it's actually uh, kind of goes back to one of our box battles that we did uh, recently with some other channels and. And the prize was uh, everybody chipped in a little bit, and the person was supposed to buy a PC banger. Well, I bought a side PC instead. So hopefully everybody's good with that. But there is one banger involved. <laughs> well, they're I, they're all really good. Don't get me wrong. But but uh, um, I guess I didn't stick to the single banger. But it was fun, and I know you like trivia. So yeah, I'm yeah. I'm been waiting for this for at uh, least a week or two i think so. oh dude you know me too i've been i usually talk to you about everything i buy and it was really yeah. hard not talking to yeah. you about any of it <laughs> so all right oh number one you ready to jump into it yeah kevin's, all right. kevin's hitting me with some trivia you guys yeah I don't yeah know if you mentioned that if we mentioned that or not yeah trivia mail day so um each card will be revealed as lauren either guesses it or i have to show them all right, college freshman of the year. It's going to be kind of vague. You have to put it all together. Olympic gold medalist. Yeah, you got it. Named best player in college. So My the, second the, year of college. The Wooden Award. I was drafted 42nd overall. Had a 17-year career. One-time champion in my sport for, as a professional. Oof, that 42nd. <laughs> and they won the Wooden Award? I, or, I just said they won college. Player, ooh. Best player in college. One-time champion? Hall of Fame inductee in 2000. Okay, now it'll get a little bit more sports specific if you need, if you need a little bit of help with that. Scored the winning goal against North Dakota for the championship as a freshman. I had to throw that in because it was North Dakota they beat. <laughs> mm. Okay, wait now. So they were inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2000. They beat North Dakota. In 2000? No, that's not when they beat him. They just, he was a Hall of Fame inductee. Oh, he's inductee into the Hall of Fame in 2000. Yep. And he beat North Dakota as a college freshman. The year I was named the best college player in college, I was also the first Hobie Baker Award winner, which that was the first year they announced player of the year for college. Gosh, dude. <laughs> I am the only player to have won the Hobie Baker Award, a gold medal, and a Stanley Cup. Oh. I also scored the game winner in the only Stanley Cup, my only Stanley Cup title. I scored the game winning goal. I'm going to have to guess it's Brett Hall. No. Oh. I'm one of only a few players to have won college, Olympic, and pro titles. Oh, man, dude, you are <laughs> killing me. So college, Olympic. There's only been a few players that have fought the great one, Wayne Gretzky. I'm one of them, and I'm the only one that did it with gloves off. Holy cow. <laughs> I don't have any more clues. I thought you might have got it by now. No. Holy. Okay. So this... now there's, there's a little story behind this one. This is the card that I bought, and then I found another card that had an auto. And I'm like, damn, I wish I would have found that one. So I wanted to get a nice example of it. You know, I don't care so much about grading, but I wanted to to um, get one that was nice. Um, I just, I can't even. No guess? No. Okay. Start, okay. It... I'll give you one more guess. I didn't want to do this because this this might give away some stuff. I'm from Roseau, Minnesota. That still doesn't give it to me. Oh, gosh. <laughs> nice, man. Neil Broughton. 
I can't believe that you <laughs> would go after Neil Broad and Card to tell you dude, the truth. Dude, like I said, now, one of the clues was I was one of – actually, I watched an interview where Gretzky said there was two fights he was in. One was with Neil Broad and one was with another player. He said this was kind of funny because Neil Broughton wasn't known as a fighter either. No. But this is the auto, dude. Oh, nice. Fought Wayne Gretzky in the date he fought him. Oh, God. That <laughs> is awesome. That awesome. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so I gotta, show that. Yeah, I got to take that out. So I literally bought the Neil Broughton rookie card, and then, like, the next day I saw this. So, yeah, Neil Broughton fought Wayne Gretzky 12-22 of 1982. That's crazy. <laughs> I wonder if Wayne was just a little punk and he just had to. He uh, he, he actually had enforcers on the line and nobody wanted to fight him. Usually it would be another small guy that fought him because they don't want to look like that. <laughs> yeah. So this one, they it wasn't much of a fight. They scuffled a little bit and they both kind of went to the penalty box laughing, he said. Uh -huh. And the other one was a big dude and he had him on the ice and he had his fist raised up to him. And he's like. If you don't move, I won't punch you. And he's like, okay, okay, I won't move. I won't move. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the first one. Did that throw you off? Obviously oh, you gosh, off. yeah. So did, was it was it this story that caused you to go after okay. the card? Or? I'll tell you in a minute why I chose all of them. Okay. But yeah. I was thinking back to back in my history, and one of the first names that popped up for, oh, this was one of my clues, too. I totally forgot this. This was, like, the best part. This is supposed to be another clue for you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Come on, man. <laughs> so in case you can't see. I'm trying to. Growing up, uh, um, I didn't watch a lot of hockey, but I remember. And I originally was going to do Dino Cicerelli. Okay. Because that's a name that just stuck in my mind. Yeah. So anyways, I had to do the hat. I left the, the brim the way you like it. The stickers on it and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so you went and bought a hat too. For I this. did. I did, yeah. man. Cool. All right. Okay. The next one. I was best player in state for my sport in high school. Okay. I was drafted third overall. You got to keep on going. I was three time champion as a pro, seven time all star, Hall of Fame in 1999. I was part of the big three in the 80s. This one should give it away to you. The big three thing? No, the, the next one. Charles Barkley called him the best player he's played against. Kevin McHale. Yep. I knew that. The big, well, team. the big three, I was thinking the big three's got to be Larry, Robert, and Kevin is who I was thinking the big now three was. Now, this card, I also got graded, and I could have did PSA or SGC. But I did SGC because it has a diff. It's an older label, mm -hmm. and it looks really good with the green Celtics. Oh, nice, dude! <laughs> oh, that's sweet. And this is uh, is it? This is rookie card. Yeah, yeah, rookie card. Rookie yeah, card. and isn't uh, who is it? Who's pumping Kevin McHale's rookie cards right now? I don't even know. <laughs> so, but that's not why. I'll no, tell you, I, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you why. Hibbing, Minnesota. So that's about an hour and a half north. That's where he grew up. Mm -hmm. And my wife's folks had a cabin next to them. So they know oh, wow. the, the McHales and stuff. So it's kind of well, cool. Well, yeah, Kevin's definitely a, a, <laughs> a home state hero for sure. For sure. For sure. Okay. This next one. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good, though. It took you to the last clue. I'm making them real vague, obviously. I was a two sport star in college. Okay. I was selected fourth overall. 12 time all star, one time world champion. First ballot Hall of Fame. I was drafted in the fourth round. I was drafted in the fifth round. I was drafted in the 17th round. And just two sports? <laughs> I was drafted in three sports and four pro leagues. Okay, Dave Winfield. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and on this one, I have to give a humongous shout out to our friend Pepino Man. 
Um, Pepino, I won't say exactly how this all went down, but I reached out to him on my personal account and uh, told him I was looking for him. I knew he had some vintage stuff and uh, he was just generous. I'll just put it that way. Oh, nice. Um, but the, the, the usual one, the, I, I say usual. And then this one um, is S, SSPC 1975, which is a little bit harder to get. Wow. Ooh, whoops. Yeah, I don't know if that's never, harder to get, but he I've never he showed seen me this one you. before. So if you don't you obviously I think everybody knows Papino Man. But uh huge, huge, huge uh thanks goes out to you, Papino Man. But Dave Winfield. And I'll just point out St. Paul, Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> I, your first clue through, I, I thought he was drafted in, what was the clue about the draft? The two two teams or? Two sports star in college, baseball oh. and basketball. But he was drafted in three different professional leagues. Three different sports and four pro leagues. He only played he, baseball what, and basketball. He never played football. And yet he got drafted in the He NFL. got drafted by the 17th round by the Vikings. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I, thought he, I thought he was a three-sport. That's what yeah. really threw me off. Yeah, as soon as you got to the foot four and uh, <laughs> you know three, three, yeah, uh, three sports. So he was four drafted leagues. in the fourth round by the Utah Stars of the ABA and drafted in the fifth round by the Atlanta Hawks in the NBA. Yeah, and he led the um, well, he was one of the leaders for the Gophers to win their Big Ten title outright in like seventy three or seventy two. And what, what what round was he drafted in baseball? Then fourth overall. Okay, fourth overall. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He didn't spend a day in the minors. <laughs> no, is, is his. And uh, actually, he was a pitcher. Oh, that's crazy. But he, uh, they wanted him as an everyday player for his bat, and then he just had a powerful arm. Lots of crazy stories about him too, with uh, the um, Yankees and stuff. Just crazy stuff. <laughs> um, all right, so now I'm gonna admit that these last few uh, were done in haste. Um, because some stuff showed up faster than I was expecting. So, oh, okay. These won't be as fun as the other ones, but still fun. Uh, okay. I was the third overall pick. I'm 11 time Pro Bowler, first team All Pro, two time second team All Pro. I led the NFL in receptions in 2005 and 2016. Oh, you know who it is? Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> well, I, I got to assume it's uh, Larry Fitzgerald. It is. Okay. So now this one, you inspired this, this card. Oh, wow. Um, I didn't do a rookie card and I could have, but I did the white sparkle. Larry oh, Fitzgerald. Remember the day you pulled the, yeah. Two? Yeah. Yeah. So white, yeah, those sparkle, white sparkles. Are, yeah. So shiny. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the fun of that. And um, Minneapolis, Minnesota, I believe. Yeah. 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 Ball boy for the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah. During the yeah. night. Well, definitely. You see him in the, on the, yeah. on the sideline during the 98 season pictures of him with Randy and Chris. <laughs> I think, I think it's a 98 season. So like I said, as we're going along here, it's probably getting easier oh, yeah. to see what's going on. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This this one might throw you off a little bit. Okay. I was undrafted. I got a guess for that right off the bat. Okay. Guess. Adam Thielen. I knew you were going to guess that. Okay. Okay. I don't have a, a licensed NFL card. Uh Marcus Sherrills. <laughs> I became just the fourth running back at Augustana to rush for 1,000 plus yards in a single season. CJ Ham. <laughs> <laughs> this one was going to be fairly easy. Somebody did one. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, this is a uh, whatever they uh, an art card type thing. Yeah, custom. Yeah, that's really cool though, dude. Yeah. I mean, I I would buy that. <laughs> So CJ Ham is from Duluth, Minnesota. Yeah, uh, just a just a year or two older than our than our boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yep. ki- my kid uh, actually went to the same high school as him. Yeah, and they said that like 
the buzz in their high school was if anyone's going to make it to the NFL from, from Denfeld, it's going to be CJ Ham and yeah. And incredible basketball player too. Yeah. I remember wa- watching my son play basketball and uh, he was a little bit younger, but we, when we went to go play, um, well, there was a bunch of school closures. He was playing for central at the time to central. Mm-hmm. And uh, we went up to watch cause my son's school was playing against them. All right. We have, well, there's there's two more technically, but one more I don't have the card. You want to try and guess the one card I don't have? Oh yeah, I'll guess. I'll okay. guess. All right. So this is this is uh, I have two left. It's going to be about a twenty minute video, but we're having fun, so oh well. Yeah. All right. I was the tenth overall selection in youth football. I played center, and Joe Mauer, Mauer was the quarterback. <laughs> um, what round? Or what? I was the tenth overall selection. Tenth overall selection, and he played football. Uh, all right, football, he was you, in youth football. I played center, and Joe Maurer was the quarterback. Well, I gotta assume that that's gotta be Terrell Suggs. It is. It is, and I got a Bowman Chrome uncirculated uh, rookie card of him. Nice, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. Moved to Arizona in like eighth grade. I knew <laughs> he he. He actually said that I think I heard Terrell Suggs once say that Joe Maurer was the best quarterback he ever played with. Something <laughs> like that. Yeah. I mentioned that to like that's that as soon as he said Joe Maurer, I'm like, I'm like center. <laughs> and you know, Matt Burke came to mind, and I knew Matt Burke didn't get drafted no 10th pick in the draft. <laughs> <laughs> so um so yeah. This is the last one. All right. I participated in four sports in high school and won a team golf state championship. Well, since these all dudes are Minnesotans, I'm just going to guess Adam Thielen on this one. Okay. This is Adam Thielen. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'll show you the last piece. Notice I didn't say card. I'm going to show you the last piece. Um, these are all uh, players that were born in Minnesota. Yeah. Um, Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame. Gonna be Hall Future of Fame. Hall of Fame. Probably not. Uh Suggs, probably. Oh, Suggs he's is one for of sure two, of Hall of Fame. He's one of two players still playing from the 2003 draft class, him and Witten. Oh wow. And uh Adam Thielen, to be determined, but I think you'll see CJ Ham will be in the Duluth Denfeld Hall of Fame. Oh yeah. <laughs> and, yes. and Adam Thielen, I believe, will be in the Minnesota Vikings Ring of Honor someday. And on this one, I'm going to give a couple shout outs, but. Oh, no. <laughs> that is gorgeous, dude. <laughs> this is the most I've spent on a memorabilia piece. Second most I've ever spent when you adjust for inflation. That is awesome. So shout out to our local card shop. Um, yeah, it's a speed helmet, I believe. I, I, the thing I wanted to give a shout out to, uh, yeah, speed helmet replica, as long as it's in the right box. <laughs> um, so I think I told you recently that um, Snodzilla was breaking a personal box break for Smith Island mm-hmm. of helmets. Yep, yep. And I originally, would, I knew Fred had a um, Mankato State one while they were all gone. And I'm like, well, I'll do the Vikings one. Yeah. So. That's that's the last piece. That is awesome, dude. So, yeah, Adam Thielen autographed full size helmet. I know when we go up to Fred's stores, I always marvel at the helmets <laughs> he's got yeah. in his display cases yeah. and TSE certified auto. So, that's my uh, mail day. And you, you you nailed you you had me completely messed up on the Neil Broughton. <laughs> Actually, when you said Rosso, all I could think of was uh, I know TJ Oshie's up up in that area from War Road, I believe, mm-hmm. but I could not think of Neil Broughton at yeah. all. Yeah. So um, this was uh, like mm-hmm. I said, probably the most fun I've had collecting since I've been back, as far as personal collecting. You know what? You did not, if you would have said Miracle on Ice, I think I probably would have gotten brought and you just <laughs> have a gun, you know? <laughs> it was uh, very um, strategically placed, yeah. the wording. Um, so sometimes I have regrets when buying. The only regret is 
I have the plain rookie when I have the auto one, you know. That's, that's all good though. Oh yeah. Th yeah. yeah that, that's so awesome, dude. And I will say this sparked me to uh decide to make a display at home. So I don't I usually just throw them in boxes, but I'm actually uh gonna build the display and buy the the helmet case and and uh yeah. We're going to be hitting up stand-up displays. I don't know if you guys check them out, but check them out on uh, Instagram. Yeah. I'm going to have some custom displays made. Yeah, this is awesome. Awesome, dude. I love it. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> well, that'll bring the Trivia Mail Day to an end. Uh, hopefully hopefully you watched it, and uh, we had a lot of fun, and, and hopefully you got a little kick out of, out of the trivia. I, I did. <laughs> Skull Brothers out.